Hi guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please do subscribe. Alexa, what's the time please? The time is 3.51pm. Right. Okay, so around 10 past 2, I took Max out for a walk. My, my dog is a small chihuahua. I do not have any partner living with me. I just live here in this one bedroom flat with my dog Max. I have no kids, no partner, I'm just me. Right, I'm a woman, a woman on her own. So I took Max out for a walk. I'd been feeling pretty, um, you know when a woman starts to get her period, she has premenstrual tension, PMT, premenstrual tension. So when you go through menopause, leading up to it, it's called perimenopause. And you get all these symptoms, you get hot flushes, you get mood swings and you feel bloody awful. And every little thing pisses you off. Every tiny little niggly thing makes you go into a, a raging dragon with fire breathing out your nose. And you are shouting and getting cross over absolutely nothing. I am. Now, I've had, I had a period just after my birthday, which was the 27th of September, right? And it lasted just over two weeks. And now it's October. And I'm starting to get the symptoms again. But it doesn't stop. I, I've got all these symptoms. And I don't seem to... I get, maybe get a couple of days break where I don't feel moody. I don't feel flushed. And I feel free to do what I like. But, I, you know, I, I could hardly go out this afternoon. I've been in all morning. I didn't take Max out this morning. I've been in till two o'clock, feeling pretty shitty. Horrible about myself, within myself. Depressed, fed up. And I couldn't get myself to open my front door and go outside to walk Max this morning. This perimenopause made me feel that bad. Tomorrow I'm due to have a blood test, a blood test to test for my liver function and anemia, okay, because I, I cancelled the other one and uh, strewed and I'm going somewhere else for this one. So I've got to push myself to go out now, literally force myself to get up and do things and I don't like feeling like this because I, I, like, I used to like to go out shopping. Now I feel like I just want to shut myself indoors and not go out at all. And I have to, I've got a dog. So I made myself go out at ten past two. I'd had two pieces of alligator pizza. And if you're wondering what an alligator pizza looks like, it's pizza go go. And this is a piece of alligator pizza. Alligator pizza, it's called from Pizza Go Go. Alligator. So I had two pieces of that before I went out. Two pieces of alligator pizza from Pizza Go Go. Two or three cups of coffee, which is bad if you suffer from heartburn. Drinking coffee is bad for you. It also makes you... That can add to feelings of anger. Too much coffee. Well, it can for me. So I went out and I had my beanie hat on. My, my beanie hat. I've got grey hair. So I had a grey beanie hat from Brain Tumour Research. And I took Max across the road and I walked him across the riverside and I hadn't spoken to anyone for days, days, apart from my mum speaking to me on the phone. It's feeling shitty. 
uh, went past Costa Coffee, circle of girls, straight the circle of women, one with her back to the door with a coat over the chair, and they were all laughing. Women, a group of women in Costa Coffee. I don't go in there anymore after the last coffee I had had because it was absolutely revolting. Good luck to them. I went onto the field and there was workmen coming at me. Four of them, I'm a woman, so I had to stand on the grass with Max while four of them walked across the path together. I'm a woman. I had to get on the field and walk the dog past these men because they were walking four abreast. Four workmen. They later went and sat on the bench up there together where I heard an urgh noise come from the builders that are building the school. I heard a loud urgh ring out as I was on the field and you can imagine being stuck in all day, all morning till two o'clock in the afternoon and then hearing that made me feel awful. There were four people fishing, the old man and his family that I mentioned the other day. They were fishing and there was a woman with a, with a maroon hat on with a bobble on walking a dog and another woman walking a dog, lots of women walking dogs. In front of me there was a man in a red jacket walking a dog and he was smoking and he had grey hair like mine. Um, I came back, I drank and drunk his uh, yuzu drink and I, I walked back and um, I put Max, I, I came into our communal area and there was dog piss all over the floor and this dog piss stank to high heaven. I don't know what they've been feeding the dog but this dog piss made my eyes water, they're still stinging now. It was rancid. This dog piss stung my eyes. It was so stinky and smelly, it made me feel ill. There was a piss trail from the entrance to the building into the lift. I got into the lift with this stain of piss and what looked like carrots in it. So maybe someone had been sick and had a piss. And I thought, I can't, you know, that has got to go. That has got to go. The cleaners have just cleaned the building and somebody can't clean their own mess up, which is absolutely disgusting. A kid could have slipped in it, an old person, and it's lazy not picking up your own mess. Right? It's dirty. Went downstairs with the mop and I cleaned it in front of the cameras because I've got a dog as well and no one's setting me up or framing me for making a mess. There's two cameras in the building and in the lift. So whoever let their dog piss in the lift, someone is watching. And someone is also watching me go out with a mop and clean their mess up, which I have just done. Clean someone else's dog piss up. Now, I was wondering why I was feeling ill all the time. Now I know because, you know, that dog's pissed on the carpet when you're going up the stairs, yeah? How many times has that dog pissed on the carpet? And uh, pissed on the entrance carpet? I was what me and Max's eyes are stinging and watering, rancid dog wee. After I went downstairs and mopped someone else's mess up because they're lazy, I went out to the co-op and, and I had said things in front of the cameras in this building. I said, that's disgusting. That stinks. Who's done that? In front of the cameras, walked out of the building into the co-op. I just want to go shopping. You know, leave me alone. All I want to do is go shopping. I don't care what other people are doing. Just leave me alone. If you don't like me, don't go in the shop. If you've got something against me, you know, don't make noises. Tell me to my face. Black dog strapped outside the co-op. Black dog with a, with a tennis ball in front of the door. A man 
man with a baseball cap in the co-op, baseball cap like my son, I don't wear baseball caps, I had a beanie hat on, and he spoke to a, 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 a woman, they spoke to, he spoke together, I spoke to no one in the co-op, no member of staff was on the desk, not one, one of them, not one of them came to serve me on the desk or offered to. So I waited for the guy with the, with, with the cap on to go out with it and get his dog and take his shopping out. I saw to my own shopping, saw to my own shopping, and I heard someone go, Ugh! So a guy went to the cash till away from me, didn't go to the one next to me, he went to the one right at the end after uh rang out and a, a nice coloured gentleman with glasses went next to me and put his shopping through. A, a, a nice coloured man with glasses and, and I don't know if he had a hat on or not but he didn't think that I was too horrible to put their shopping through next to me. I come back down the road with my shopping. I speak to a lady downstairs who's very nice. She speaks to me. She's very, very nice. We, you know, there is one person that speaks to me all the time. And my neighbour upstairs was in the flats. Whilst I'd gone to the co-op, the guy upstairs had come in to the flats and he's got black hair. Whilst I was talking to the lady who said she'd put her Halloween bits up, she liked Halloween, he'd gone back out in his form one day and driven off. All the time I was talking to the lady, her neighbours were opening and shutting the doors, opening them and shutting them, not speaking, just opening them and shutting them up. None of them spoke to us. They were just opening the doors and shutting them while I was trying to talk to the lady downstairs. Opening them and shutting them. Opening them and shutting them. And one of them let their dogs out while I was trying to speak to the lady. I just said to the lady, I can't even talk to anyone. I mean, it's ridiculous. Nobody spoke to me in the co-op, by, by the way. No assistant. No customers. Just walked in, walked out. And now, I'll just show you a couple of the things I've got, because I don't want to take up all the um, camera footage. Ye old oak, hot dogs, ambrosia like Devon custard. I wanted some shower gel, which was a pound. Tingly mint and tea tree shower gel. Right. And six soft white rolls as we all know it's Halloween week you know people are looking for the ghosts around the Rochester Riverside uh, you know the ones that are strapped to the fences etc and we all want to have a nice Halloween week why does it always have to be someone trying to upset me and make me miserable and you know who who are who is speaking to me on these WhatsApp messages and these Facebook messages? Is it people down the street? Is it some of the neighbours asking me personal questions? Because, you know, what's all this <clears throat> opening and shutting the doors? I am allowed to speak to people and... And you know, you, you doctors, nurses have to speak to you. People, shop assistants should speak to you. But what the fucking hell is going on? Ganging up 
and picking on somebody. For what? You shouldn't be nosing in my WhatsApp, Facebook and Instagram. And my son doesn't live with me. He doesn't. He hasn't lived with me since 2015. I live by myself. I cook, clean and cope by myself and don't hide it and act, act up to me like I'm a fella and push me, push me out the way and stand up to me like you're going to give me a good hiding when I'm a five foot five woman just because someone's got grey hair it doesn't mean they're a man you know bullies anyway guys blood test tomorrow I've been home most of the day by myself and um, some people are just trying to hide the fact of what they've done to me by trying to make I'm, out I'm some sort of violent criminal. Uh, and that was my father, Derek. He was a violent criminal. Because my mum always says, when someone says, how are you doing? And I'm sat in my mum's flat. Carrying on as usual, because Derek used to be a handful, didn't he? Now, I'm going to cook something to eat, and I'm happy by myself. See you later.